Hey, it's Mr. Bass. I'm really excited today because I've got another amazing fishing tackle backpack to review for you guys and show you something that I really think is going to excite some of you guys that have been trying to solve one specific problem when it comes to your tackle backpacks. I do a lot of backpack reviews, a lot of tackle bag reviews. If you're looking to buy a new tackle bag or backpack, go check out some of my videos before you make a buying decision. I think these will help quite a bit. So today, what I'm going to talk about and share with you is the new fishing tackle backpack by Mayhem. If you've been fishing for any length of time at all, you've heard of Liquid Mayhem. You know about Liquid Mayhem. It's an amazing smelly fish attractant that you can put on your lures. Now they're making tackle bags and they've got basically three bag type uh, products out there. They've got the tackle backpack, they've got a tackle bag that looks more like a duffel bag, and then they've got a dry bag option as well. What makes this one in particular unique? Why am I excited about this particular backpack? Well, there's a lot of reasons, but there's one key reason. Let me show you that uh, by showing you a couple of other bags real quick. First off, most of the time, most guys, when they look for a backpack, get something similar to this by Ego Fishing. And this is an amazing bag. If you're looking for a great bag option, this is a great one as well. But this one is similar to almost every front opening bag out there in that when you open this up, it has room for four or five, depending upon how bad you want to cram them in there. But generally speaking, four tackle trays and they're the 3600 size tackle tray so the smaller tackle tray for me that works great i love the small trays i use the small trays all the time no big deal but there's a ton of you guys out there that that doesn't work for a ton of you guys that say i take tons of tackle i like my big trays i like the 3700 trays and i want a bag that gives me the 3700 option well there are bags out there that do that. Here's one right here. I've done a review on this. You guys, I've told you, man, this is an awesome bag for 3700s. What's the problem with this bag for some of you guys? The problem is the only way to get to, the, to your trays are you have to open the top. These are really cool too, by the way. <laughs> when you open the top, the 3700 trays stack in here vertically. So a couple of problems with that. One, top entry. Top entry is not always desired. And the second problem is I don't like sliding my trays in up and down vertically so they're sideways. All my lures, especially my soft plastic lures, have all bunched down to the bottom. That's a problem. And I hear this, hear this from guys. I want ones where I can slide my 3700 trays right out of the front and all, the, all of my tackle inside the tray stays in place. Well, Mayhem Bait Company, they've got your solution right here. This is a 3700 series bag. Check that out. Four 3700 series boxes comes with the bag and they slide right out of the front just like you've always dreamed of. So just for ease of demonstration here, that 3700 fits in there great, slides right out, and Mayhem gives you four as part of the price. Speaking of price, how much does this bag cost? 150 bucks, 149.99. Although on the website right now, it is the middle of June, 2021. There's 10 bucks off, you can get this for $139.99. If you're not looking for a backpack and you want something more like that duffel style bag, it also holds 3700 series trays. I think it holds three. And you can get $20 off that bag right now on their site. Normally $69.99, right now it's $49.99. So let's go through this amazing backpack and just show you all the features included here. So first off, you'll notice this is a big bag. It is 20 inches tall, 
It is 19 inches wide and it is 11 inches deep. It's a big, beefy, sturdy bag. And so uh, if you're looking for small, this ain't your bag. But if you're looking for a good size solid bag that will haul almost everything you can imagine, this is definitely your bag. And of course it's got to be big and it's got to be wide if they're going to put 3700 series trays in the bottom, right? This makes sense. Now if you look at the carry handle, it has a very beefy, sturdy uh, carry handle. Not going to have any problem carrying a ton of weight on this thing. It's also got decent shoulder straps, and by decent I mean they're decent. They're not amazing, they're not super incredibly sturdy, but they do have some breathable webbing on the back. They do have a loop on here that you could attach stuff to, as well as here and here. Um, it does have a waist strap, which is nice for support. <clears throat> Overall, decent shoulder straps. They might be a little thin, but I wouldn't know until I really tried it. Uh, the back also has some pretty thick, very nice raised uh, foam padded mesh panels that are going to give you nice circulation on your back on a long day of hot fishing. Now uh, we'll kind of start at the top. Right on top of the lid here, you got a nice kind of harder molded uh, sunglass case and it's got a little bit of fuzzy protection in there too which is nice. If you open up the top compartment this would be a good compartment for all of your soft plastics and uh, you could also put line, you could put uh, your food, your snacks a ton of space in here. In fact, I'll bet you a 3600 fits in there just fine. So here is uh, the lure lock 3600 size tray and this is going to be the same for your Plano. It fits in there quite well vertically like that. You could put probably three of them in that direction. Really nice. The shelf here is just a soft shelf that's velcroed in and there is one problem with these Velcro shelves, and, and these is common on, with every bag, is they just don't hold a ton of weight, especially if you start taking the bottom boxes out. If you leave the bottom boxes in, the support's decent, but uh, don't plan on putting tons of weight up here on the top and think that that little Velcro shelf that divides the top compartment from the bottom is really going to hold, because it won't. It'll end up failing. There's a nice clear map pocket zippered on the inside of the lid. The zippers seem heavy duty. They, they, they definitely move well, which is, which is nice. And they got good, good uh, zipper pulls as well. All right, then going down the front of the bag, if you open up this panel, again, this is a nice roomy panel and it has a couple of gusseted pockets in here that you could put, you know, tools, all kinds of things, markers, things like that. This also is a place you could store soft plastics or food if you wanted to. And then going down the front, I've already shown you the big cavernous uh, compartment with the 43700 trays, but there's also a zipper pocket on the front of this and it's pretty roomy. If you look at this corner and this corner, there are these loops, molly type loops, that you could attach carabiners to, and you could attach a lanyards to, you could attach your uh, culling clips if you want to use this as a co-angler bag. There's a lot of things you could do. There's three on each corner here, which is a nice added touch. Going here on this side, you've got on the top pocket, you've got a, a mesh outer pocket, then you have a zipper pocket here, and there's nothing inside there, but this is a really good size for spools of line. I would, that's what I would probably use that for. I'd put a couple of spools of line in there, would hold great. The lower pocket doesn't have anything on the outside, but again, easy to use zippers, and check this out. You kind of open it up and there's like this accordion 
of pockets in here. There's a mesh pocket here. I don't know if you can see that. A mesh here. Then there's another pocket and another pocket. So you've basically got three separate storage dividers in this one side pocket. Pretty amazing. Switch over to the other side and guess what? Repeat of the same. Mesh pocket, a zippered pocket here, and then on the bottom, another three-way divided pocket. Amazing. This bag has so much storage, uh, it's off the rails, really. Compared to other bags of this size, I would say, hands down, this has just as much storage, if not more, than all of its competitors. It feels incredibly durable, very sturdy. It's not waterproof, um, but it doesn't have a rain fly or anything like that. But it is incredibly durable, incredibly sturdy. And this 3700 size option, I think a lot of you guys are really gonna like. If you look at the bottom, it has like, kind of like uh, just the regular old material bottom, but it does have four raised rubber feet which is nice, that'll at least keep the bottom of the bag somewhat off the ground and, and keep the bottom of the bag dry. <laughs> at least give you a little longer time for having a dry bag. Overall, this bag really checks the box, I think, for a lot of guys. And the price is right. Uh, for To have this many features for under $150, is is really really good it's it's an excellent option one thing that, that mayhem company says on their site is that they've made this bag for hardcore anglers and after looking at everything that uh, comes with this bag i agree i think that if you're a serious angler one that has tons of tackle and when you go to the water you want to take not just your fishing tackle and your lures but you're into spare reels and you're taking a lot of spare line and you've got a lot of fishing tools that you take with you and you take your markers and your dies and your scents and your rain gear and on and on this bag here really kind of kind of covers all the bases it also would make an exceptional co-angler bag if you're out there gonna fish tournaments as a co-angler want to have a portable bag that you can throw on your back because when you're a co-angler, you got to have all your tackle on your back. You got to carry all your rods. You got to carry your rain gear, all the other separate stuff that you've got. <clears throat> you need a good, large bag. This bad boy probably will do it for you. At least I think it will. Go check these guys out. The Mayhem Bait Company. You can find them online. Right now, you can get $10 off this bag. There might even be other deals online that I don't know about. Definitely a great option. As far as colors go, this is it. One color choice, but it really looks good. It's a great looking black bag. Really amazing. Looks fantastic. What does it not have? It doesn't, it's not waterproof like I said. It doesn't have a rain fly or a rain cover. A lot of you guys ask for rod holders. It does not have rod holders. So that's a downside. If you're looking for rod holders, this one's not going to do it for you. This bag can really, really do a lot of things that I think will make a lot of anglers happy out there. Hope this was helpful and informative. If so, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. And until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!